What is good guys, we're here with Shoka vs Funk for SPL Week 9, we're gonna rewatch the first 9 turns if we missed Lando you turns out on a Rotom, I'm pretty sure that's defensive Lando and Spadef Rotom, some sort of Spadef Rotom, I don't know the exact spread. Now Rotom is gonna vault out, Chansey could go for Estos or get up the rocks here, depending on if rocks are on Chansey or on another Mon. Goes into Mammoth Swine on the rocks, now this Mammoth Swine could get up rocks, Funk is forced into Rotom here, he doesn't really have another answer for the Mammoth Swine. And now um, Funk is free to go for will -Wisp, but Shoka is forced out here. Into his own Rotom, uh, he does dodge, so I assume they're just gonna exchange will o -Wisp. Um If Shoka can get the opposing Rotom burnt, that would be really nice for him. Because uh, wearing this down is amazing for his Mammoth Swine. Now I assume we see Volt Switch here from both Rotoms. Um, Funk Volts into his Chansey most likely. Shoka Wisps, uh, Shoka could Pain Split here, um, or he could just Volt out. He does Hydro Pump, most likely expecting Funk to pivot into Guard Jump, expecting the Volt Switch. Um, but if he has pain split, he should definitely go for it now because his Rotom is getting low. So he does pivot into Gothitelle. There's the pain split. This could be a Scarf or Specs Gothitelle. Um, let's see if he's able to pick up the Rotom. I would assume that Scarf damage as Rotom is gonna vault out. He could go into Starmie or s and spin here, or he could go into Jirachi. Um, getting rid of the rocks would obviously be nice for Shoka for his Dragonite. Also, I'm trying to see what is the Scarf on Shoka's side. It might be the uh, the Politoed. And the Jirachi, I'm um, not sure what the Jirachi set would be yet, uh, we have to see that. So yeah, Stami's most likely going to spin, uh, Funk is forced here, most likely to switch into Chansey or Magnezone. I assume we're going to see the Chansey coming out here. And we see it's a leftover Stami. Um, obviously Gossetel is locked into Psychic, there's no point in staying in here. So there's the chance he and uh, he rapid spins. He's gonna go back into Mammoth Swan here. He could either rocks again or he could just seismic toss. There's the Mammoth Swan on the seismic toss. Now uh, Funk is forced into Rotom here. I assume Shoka is just gonna go for Icicle Crash. Um, because the Rotom is Spadef, I think that's already confirmed. So Icicle Crash should do a good chunk to that. Um, this member could be Life Up or Sash, we'll have to see that. And he does miss. Um, now, if I'm funky, I would probably just Volt out because Mammoth's Wine... Like, Shoka's Mammoth is valuable and he doesn't want to stay in with that and risk getting burned. He does not have any form of Heal Belt support. Um, I'm expecting a switch. If his Jirachi is a special attacker, then he could go into Jirachi. Um, otherwise, he could go... Oof, maybe into his... Rotom or Dragonite, but if I'm funky, I would probably just Volt Switch, because I don't think the Mammoth's ever going to stay in. Also, um, I'm so, well, I'm like, I'm um, trying to figure out what is the Lando set, because the Lando isn't rocks, the chance is the rock on Funk's side. And the zone um, could be either sub lefties or it could be specs, is my guess. I mean, I've never played black and white, so like, I'm guessing a lot here. He goes Stami, which I'm really surprised by, and he gets trapped by... Uh, Scarf Gossetel here most likely. I'm um, expecting either Energy Ball or t bolt I don't know exactly what it has. Okay, it has t bolt And he can go back into Mammoth Swine here and click Icicle Crash. Or he could um, also go into maybe Jirachi or Dragonite. So Icicle Crash is pretty free here. Um, Funk could sack this or he could go into his Rotom. I don't remember how healthy his Rotom is. I think it was at half-ish, right? So maybe he doesn't want to go to Rotom then. Oh, did he pain split up his health? I don't think he did pain split up. I think his Rotom is already weakened here. So he might have to sack the Gossetel here. Yeah, yeah, he does just sack it. He T-Bolts again, and... You see it's a life of Mammoth Swine. So that Icicle Crush would have done a lot earlier to the Rotom, the one that he missed. Now, um... Rotom is gonna come back out here, um... I would assume. I don't see what else he can do. If... Magnuson is Scarf that could also come out, but his Gossetel was already Scarf. I don't think the Magnuson would be Scarf. I'm not tripping, right? Mammoth Swine is faster than Magnuson if Magnuson is not Scarf. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So there's the Rotom. Um, yeah, I was at 57 after Rock, so he couldn't afford to hard into his into the Icicle Crash. So he should just Volt Switch here. Um, like, he knows that this Mammoth is pretty valuable. He could also Pain Split if he wants health back, but he just Hydro Pumps and the Dragon Knight. We see it's Leftovers Dragon Knight, so it's most likely a Sub Dragon Knight. Um, so I assume Shoka's gonna sub up here. Funk could maybe. If he has HPIs on his Landris, he could maybe go into his Landris. Otherwise, I don't know what they run. Sometimes they run Dragon Dance, Sub 
roost and fly, I think. So maybe Ma maybe Magnuson was this Dragonite. So I think either Lando or Magnuson would be his play. So he goes in the Magnuson. What do we see here? A sub? We do see a sub, okay. So now, if this is lacking Earthquake, uh, Funk could just like Volt Switch, but it has Earthquake. Oof. He could just Flash Cannon is what I meant, not Volt Switch. Um, so Chance is here. Um, if this has Dragon Dance, this might just win for Shoka, but if it doesn't have Dragon Dance, then he might have to switch out. Um, I'm expecting a Softball here, obviously, from Funkasaurus. As well as Earthquake, Sub, Roost. What is his last move? He switches out, so he probably doesn't have Dragon Dance. Um, Jirachi comes out here. I'm um, expecting this to be physical or mixed because otherwise, if it's special, you wouldn't bring it out on a chancy, right? So it's either so it's sub, Iron Hat. What are the other moves? He has a Polytoad on his team, so it could have Thunder, and it could have like um, Hidden Power or Icy Wind. Like it could have Hidden Power Fire or it could have Icy Wind. Hidden Power Fire is unlikely though with a Polytoad. So he goes into Landris. Um, takes a lot because the sub is up, which means he doesn't get intimidated. Um, I don't know exactly what that card tells us though. Um, Funk has to U turn out here because he has to scout for Icy Wind slash HP Ice, right? And he doesn't want to lose his Landris. Wait, I thought this Landris was defensive. Maybe I messed up and it's fast Landris. Yeah, it might also be fast Landris. Um, this Jirachi, um, I think it runs a good amount of HP investment, so. Maybe that Chansey sub doesn't break the, with Seismic Toss. So Chansey doesn't break the sub with Seismic Toss is what I'm trying to say. So the, the U-turn, I don't know if that crit matters. I don't play black and white enough to comment on that. If it's max HP, it definitely might have mattered. Um, U-turn out into Chansey or Rotom here, most likely. Or into... Hmm. Like, the HP is or Icy Wind here is an option, so I don't think he would go in a guard jump, right? He does go on a guard jump. Okay, I mean guard jump can love a hit. So it is HP eyes and it is a lot. Now Shoka's gonna switch here into mm, Mammoth Swan is pretty valuable, so he's not gonna go to that. He's he's not gonna go to his I mean Rodom is also valuable because he has pain split and can get health back on chance. He's like a Dragon Knight or the Polypotod is the play I would make here. And yeah, I'm thinking he didn't show a Scarf yet, and his Dragon Knight didn't Dragon Dance up, so I think this Polytoad has to be Scarf on Shoka's side. Or this Jirachi might have Body Slam to get Paras as speed control, that might be it. If and he doesn't have a Scarf, I will have to see. So he goes hard on the Polytoad, and this Earthquake is gonna come out here soon? Yeah, because his Rotom was already low, he wasn't going Rotom there. I think it was low. Um, so um, now Funk is to switch into Chansey here, probably, fearing the Scarf Ice Beam. That earthquake did a lot, so that's definitely not defensive Polytoad, and also don't see leftovers. Um, what does Polytoad run? Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, or Surf? I don't know. And then... Sometimes Hypnosis, sometimes... Um, do they run Hidden Power? I have no idea. So there's the Hypnosis on the Chansey switch. Uh, now, Shoka is gonna switch here into... Mamo or Jirachi. This is what I would think. And Funk could double out, um, not letting... Mammoth one in for free is pretty important here. Um, but how does he even prevent the Mammoth from coming out here? Like, he has to double into Rotom maybe, right? He does listen to Landris. I mean, that's also nice because he gets off the Intimidate. Not sure what this Lando item is also. Could be some gem. I don't know enough about Black and White to like, comment on that. Um, he could Ice Shot here or he could also um, double out because he was Intimidated, yeah. Now, there's the Chansey. That was actually a good play on Shoka's part. I didn't think about the Chansey. The Chansey would wall the Mammoth Swan because of the Intimidate, most likely. So yeah, let's Iron Head and get a crit, and that's absolutely nothing. So I'm pretty sure that's... You already saw it was mixed. It had Hidden Power, Ice, it had Sub, and it had Iron Head. So the last move... Hmm, could be Thunder because he has a Rain. So he's gonna try to flinch this down. But he needs a lot of flinches in a row. He's also kind of... Um, yeah, stalling out some softball PP from the Chansey. Uh, so I assume we see a Seismic Toss here as he's going for a Thunder Para. If he gets a Thunder Para... <laughs> he is Thunder, he reveals his last move. If he gets a Thunder Para, then he can Para flinch this down. And Funk doesn't really have an answer any at this point to the Jirachi. If there's the Para, 
You can um, sub again here, trying to get a fishing for the full para. And if Funk pivots out, um, like just having up a sub is nice to have because if he pivots in the chomp, then you don't have to go for Iron Head and you can just HP eyes if you want. So he gets a flinch there. <clears throat> Surprised that he didn't sub up, but I assume he's eventually gonna try to sub down on a para or on a pivot. I mean, Funk doesn't really have a play here. He he's just kinda has to hope that he doesn't get flinched down. <laughs> Like, I'm really interested that the Dragon Knight said, uh, what is the last move? Is it Fly? Because I assume Fly would do a good chunk to Chansey, but maybe it doesn't do enough. That's why he switched out. Definitely he's lacking Dragon Dance, because otherwise he could have potentially set up on the Chansey. Maybe I'm just missing something here. Um, so he's just flinching this down. Um, at this point he has to keep spamming Iron Head, because if he subs down and lets the Chansey softballed, that's obviously not what he wants, because he flinched it down so much already, so now he's obviously gonna go for it, you just need one more flinch. If this Chansey switches out, it's at 9%, right, after rocks. Yeah, yeah, it was at 9 if it switched out, so now it's pretty much dead as you get the flinch. There's no point in subbing, you just Iron Head again here. If Thunder kills, you could- no, Iron Head, Iron Head is always to play, there's no point in Thundering. On a potential pivot into a ground type, even though there's no point in keeping the Chansey as well, he's just gonna sack this here. Uh, I don't see how Shoka can lose at this point. Mamoswine um, beats the two ground types with Ice Shard and Rotom is already relatively low, so it cannot switch into Mamoswine either. So whenever Mamoswine comes out on a guard jump or Landris, it pretty much gets a kill, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there's the guard jump. Shoka could sack something here. Doesn't matter what he sacks. He sacks the Rotom that dies to rocks, okay. I, I forgot that Rotom was that low that it dies to rocks. That was obviously the correct play then. Now he goes Mamoswine, he clicks Ice Shard here. Um, if Funk could either hard into Rotom or he could um, sack the Chomper, but I don't see him winning. So there's Ice Shard doing 16%. Um, there's the burn damage. So this might be a roll to kill the Rotom with the burn damage. Um, the thing is, you don't want to risk missing Icicle Crash. Um, Funk could um, hope that Shoka switches out here and Paint Split, hoping for um, Shoka going to Jirachi and getting all his health back. Like, he has to kind of hope for some choke, right? Um, so probably just attacking with Mammoth Swarm is the better play. He, like, he could either go to Politoed, which is low in health and doesn't give Rotom any health back with the Pain Split, or he could just attack. Um, but I think Ice Shot might be a roll and Icicle Crash can miss, so I don't know if that's worth it risking that, because Mammoth Swarm literally wins um, after Rotom goes down by kicking Ice Shot on land on an uh, Guard Chomp. So maybe it's not worth risking and he should switch out, but I'm pretty sure he has this in the bag, because after his Mammoth Swarm goes down, uh, if he, let's say he misses here, he goes down to pump, then he can also go to Dragnet and sub up. So I think he has this game locked up anyways. Damn, like, <laughs> I'm not a biggest uh, fan of black and white sprites. I had it changed to um, to Gen 6 sprites um, for a while, but I went back to this. Because black and white sprites are kind of cool, but I just hope Zero fixes this eventually. That they won't be that big anymore. <laughs> yeah, also, um, Shoka got... I think bought at mid-season, if I'm not mistaken here. Um, I think Funk is playing for the Cryos and Shoko is playing for the Classiest. I might have mixed up the teams, we're gonna look at the score after the game. Um, I think this series already had a 180v game, so this is the second game in the series. And he does get um, the kill with Ice Shard, so now Mamis one just wins um, Ice Shard on the land or an Ice Shard on the Guard Chomp to pick up the win. Yeah, I don't know if I would've... F he, he, took, he took his time there, he was probably culking. I don't know why he... If that was a roll, I don't sure he had the game locked up anyways, because like I said, he could have subbed down with his Dragon Knight if he like didn't get the roll and his Mammoth Swarm went down. So Lando's gonna go down the Ice Shard here, and obviously Mammoth Swarm does lift the recoil and has another Ice Shard that it can go for on the Guard Chomp. And I'll see you guys later with more Ice Spill coverage after we look at the score. Let me pause real quick and show you guys the score. And Shoka picking up the win. Well played, well played. Garchomp was at 8%, I think, right? Yeah, we do see here that um, the classiest versus the Cryos. Shoka picking up the win for the classiest. Now up 2 and 0 versus the Cryos. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Uh, we'll have Sun and Moon OU games live. Uh, record. I will record them live later on. Stay tuned for that and peace out.